Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for May 29, 2020 from Joshua chapter 22, only one altar. Let's begin with verse 1. At that time, Joshua summoned the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh and said to them, You have kept all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you and have obeyed my voice in all that I have commanded you. You may remember that these tribes had their land first. Why? Because their land was east of the Jordan River. The people of Israel then had to cross the Jordan River to make it to Jericho. But they promised Moses and Joshua that they would help their brothers secure their own land before they would return to their land. Now Joshua declares their oath fulfilled, and now they may return to their land. Verse 10. And when they came to the region of the Jordan, that is in the land of Canaan, the people of Reuben and the people of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh built there an altar by the Jordan, an altar of imposing size. Sounds like a good idea, except there was only supposed to be one altar. God was only going to be at one place. As the people of Israel were taking the land, they destroyed many altars to a lot of the quote-unquote fake gods. Now the people's response, verse 12. And when the people of Israel heard it, the whole assembly of the people of Israel gathered at Shiloh to make war against them. Fortunately, before the war came, they decided to send a delegation to find out what was really going on east of the Jordan. Verse 16. Thus says the whole congregation of the Lord, What is this breach of faith that you have committed against the God of Israel in turning away this day from the Lord by building yourself an altar this day in rebellion against the Lord? So the people of Israel thought that this altar was one of the many fake altars that their own people just immediately erected. However, they had a different response. Verse 25. For the Lord has made the Jordan a boundary between us and you, you people of Reuben and people of Gad. You have no portion in the Lord, so your children might make our children cease to worship the Lord. Therefore we said, let us now build an altar, not for burnt offering nor for sacrifice, but to be a witness between us and you, between our generations after us, that we do perform the service of the Lord in the presence with our burnt offerings and sacrifices and peace offerings. So your children will not say to our children in time to come, you have no portion in the Lord. Do children always follow the steps of their parents? The answer is no. This was a copy of the, the altar for God to remind future generations that people of Israel were on both sides of the river so that the younger generations would not necessarily exclude the other generations. As long as there were not sacrifices on that replica altar, there was only going to be one altar to the Lord. In today's world, we have many churches scattered throughout the world, so the concept of only one church doesn't seem to make sense to us. But this is the way that God wanted it. It wasn't too difficult for the people to gather for special feast days. So consider this for a moment. We also gather on special days like Christmas and Easter. And during those special times, we may see people we haven't seen in a long time. We also may see people we haven't seen at all. Would we ever say to those people that you don't belong here? The answer should be no. And so this replica altar would be a reminder for the future generations that yes, they are part of the people of God. So the main point is that future generations need to be strongly reminded and taught the promises of God, even today. So we continue to teach both the younger and the older people about how faithful God is in keeping his promises and caring for his people. Because when we fail to teach, then people fail to listen and they walk away. 
and then bad things really happen. Join me again tomorrow as Joshua prepares the people of Israel for his upcoming departure. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching and please share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.